Hello everyone, welcome to Cuck Heroes Coding Class. Want to hear something really dumb? I just finished recording the entirety of this video and realized that it, my mic was on mute in OBS. Really stupid, so I'm recording it again. As you probably know, JavaScript has a built-in prompt function and it also has a built-in alert and confirm function, so you know, you can do... And it'll give you a little pop-up, you put the text in, it'll wait here until you actually enter text and it'll return whatever you put in. Great. But the thing is, once you've done this and you want to like customize this pop-up in any way, you'll realize that you can't. So I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom version of this function and this will work for alert and to confirm as well. I'm just going to be using prompt as an example because I feel like it. And we're just going to make some custom HTML. And you can style this to look however you want. And you don't have to be limited to the browser's default, which varies from browser to browser. So you want to keep your app consistent or whatever. This is, this is one consistency thing you can do. So I'm going to make a script tag. We're going to do function custom prompt text. And then we're going to do here we have uh, just a div with class of hidden which makes it be hidden an id and we have some so the prompt text here we have an input and we have an okay button and you can obviously make this look a little different if you want and you can generate this however you want you can use create element or you can use a template engine or whatever i'm just having this preset here but the methodology is the same for any way of making this element exist. I'm just doing this a very simple way. And then, so I'm just going to do document dot query selector hash custom prompt dot class list dot remove hidden. So now it's visible. And then we just do return new promise. And then we make an arrow function. This will only work in browsers from like 2016 or later. Resolve comma reject. We're probably, we're not gonna actually need to use this reject thing, but just put it in there for clarity or whatever. So you need to use, well, you don't need to use a wait to like utilize this function, but this works best in conjunction with a wait as I will demonstrate shortly, which is only supported in browsers newer than 2016 approximately. So keep that in mind if you want this to be backwards compatible you might want to use like a bundler or something but who cares screw old browsers now all we have to do is document dot query selector hash prompt button dot on click equals and we can make another arrow function because the nice thing is the on click can be a function or it can be a string which means that if you just set it to a local function, it can access local variables that don't exist in the global scope, which is really nice. Anyway, resolve document dot query selector hash prompt input dot value. That's all you have to do. And I'm just going to do that to hide the pop up again. And that is literally all you have to do to make a basic custom prompt function. So if we go back here again and we do custom underscore. We get this, and you'll notice that it immediately returns a promise with the state of pending. Now, that's annoying. So, what you can do is add a wait, and now it'll just sit there and hang until you click the button, and now it'll return what you put inside of the input, which is really convenient. And then, obviously, you want this to have the text, so I'm just going to add here document.querySelector hash prompt text dot inner text equals text and now we have almost all of the features of the default prompt function the only one we're missing is when you press enter nothing happens here but that's very easy to add and we're also missing the default input text 
which is also very easy to add and you can use this as a base to build your own custom prompts and confirms and dialogues with multiple buttons and you can customize everything about them you can customize how they look what buttons they have what text they say whatever you want really which is super nice because it'll still use the exact same interface well almost the exact same interface as the default you know built-in one very nice anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and remember that the earth is probably round